I'm not wearing very much makeup right now. I'm wearing eyebrows and eyelashes. That's it. <laughs> I'm so weird right now. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Vietnam Vegan and today's video is a grocery haul. A bunch of things that I bought in Buffalo at Target, Wegmans, Whole Foods and a Veg Fest. So I went to Buffalo for Veg Fest. Um, I have a What I Eat In A Day vlog from that video so if you want to watch that I'll leave a thing in the corner. But anyway, this morning we went to Buffalo, we went to Western New York Veg Fest. It was great, it was a good time. This video is a grocery slash haul of a bunch of things. Oh, I went to Ulta, that was the other thing. Mostly food, some clothes, some makeup, some household things. It's a hot mess. I'm gonna tackle things like I'm putting groceries away because that's literally what I'm doing. And uh, it'll be a hot mess of a video, but you know what, that's this channel. So welcome if you're new here. Subscribe if you like witnessing the hot mess that I am. This is a tangent, but the other day, someone was asking like what my channel is about, and I said, uh, vegan lifestyle and recipes, I guess, but I feel like there are so many other people who are much better at that than I am, and my appeal is that I'm just a hot mess, and I'm showing you, if you are a hot mess, you can also be vegan. It's okay. <laughs> On to the snacky portion. Wow, these actually stayed pretty frozen. Okay, so this bag is like an insulated bag and it's full of a bunch of random stuff. So one of the first things, we have already dug into these in the car, but they're creamsicles, orange creamsicles from the company called Good Pop. Um, very exciting. So uh, it is coconut milk based. It is vegan, dairy free, no artificial flavor. If you wanna see the review from this, I'll link that vlog, but it was a good time. I'm gonna put it away before it melts. Next up we have a bunch of things from Wegmans, which will come in a taste test. It'll probably be like an Omega taste test at some point, but we have some corn. We have the corn meatless spicy patties and fishless sticks, meatless fillets. Very excited to try these. Not all corn things are vegan, but I saw ones that were vegan and I was like, I gotta eat this. That was a very aggressive like head movement, Lisa. And I found out that Wegmans has their own house brand of vegan things, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this one is the Don't Be Chicken Chicken Nuggets, Don't Be Piggy Sausage Patties, Don't Be Chicken Chicken Patties. This will be an Omega taste test at some point as well. Is my channel just taste test now? Is that who I've become? Do you guys care? These bad boys, mother-in-law kimchi. Remember that time that Mommy Tang came back for a hot minute and then she stopped uploading videos? So sad, but oh man, these are actually still pretty cold. Hell yeah, insulated bag, you did good. Mother-in-law kimchi has two kinds of vegan kimchi. They have the Napa cabbage one, which is a classic kind of kimchi, and then the white kimchi, which is more like acidic. Very good, delicious, I'm excited. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. Next we have a bunch of cheese products. Um, I'll leave a list of all the things down below and I'll list where we found them just so that you guys also know where we found them. The Beyond Beef ground beef. I'm actually really excited. We tried these in tacos today at the Veg Fest. Holy crap, they were good. So I'm very excited to use this. I'm kind of like unsure of how we're gonna use it because I feel like I don't wanna like do it injustice, but I'll, at the same time, it just should be eaten because I, I did that with another thing in my fr freezer that's like, I was like afraid to like use it. I'm gonna just eat it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Wayfair Creamy Ranch Dip. Someone told me to try this on Instagram and I was like, I don't know if we get this. Turns out I have seen this at Coven in Hamilton. Oops, but I'm pretty sure they just like go across the border, buy a bunch of stuff and bring it back. I'm pretty sure it's like the same situation. This is the Kite Hill Jalapeno Cream Cheese. Oh man, I thought I bought the herbed one. This was supposed to be for my friend Janella. I don't know if she can eat jalapenos. I'm sure she can. Uh, I also bought a bunch of yogurts. They're more in another cooler that we have here, but this is the Coconut Collaborative uh, Mango and Passion Fruit Yogurt. I've tried something from this brand before in the UK, which I don't remember liking that much, honestly. I'm sure it was fine. I'm pretty sure it just tastes like coconut cream plus stuff, but mango and passion fruit, I'm about, so can't go wrong. I found this brand, I'd never seen it before, Good Planet Foods, plant-based cheese mozzarella shreds. I was so intrigued by this because look at the picture. Look at that cheese pull. What? And it's vegan. So I had to, I had to buy it, I had to try it. Um, and this is also Violife cheese. I just realized their thing is sewed together. It's not glue, it's like a, why is this? You already have plastic packaging. Why do you need more? Whatever, Violife cheese mature cheddar 
shreds, slices, not shreds. I've tried some other Vital Life cheese before. I really like them. I know they're in the States now, so I was like, I'm gonna get this while we're there. So this stuff is from Target. We found a version of Canada Dry ginger ale with lemon or lemonade ginger ale, but Eddie said he hadn't found it since we bought that that one time and he wasn't gonna risk not having it. So we're trying to buy less pop slash drink less pop in general. But here we are with three cases of pop, orange jade and ginger ale, and then orange and vanilla Coke. I really don't know how I feel about this. I don't like vanilla Coke. I like- I do. I like Coke with lime. I remember they had like a Coke with lime at one point. I was like, ooh, I'm into this. But I can only ever find it at those like big pop dispensers that are basically like a soda stream with like a bunch of different syrups. But Eddie was very intrigued by this because he is into orange and vanilla. Hey Edward, could you perchance bring this downstairs? We're not gonna drink all of this. I mean, we're gonna try a little bit of everything, but we have a barbecue in a couple weeks and I expect that we'll be offloading some beverages on, a, on some of our friends. Uh, this is not part of the haul, but I was reading this in the car today. I uh, borrowed it from the library. I'm very impressed with this book. I was not, I forgot what this book was about when I put a hold on it and it was like on hold for like three months. So I had forgotten that I put it on hold. Um, I'm like almost done. It is a riveting tale. Holy moly. I highly recommend reading this book cause it is wow, a lot. Uh, I got some of this Rebel Organic Ethically Sourced Maca mocha. It is so good. This is like my favorite little drink. This is a, kind of a guilty pleasure, honestly. Um, but I really like the size of this bottle, so I think I'm just gonna save all these bottles. Creamy, but kind of chalky, maca mocha drink. Coconut based, no coffee. Balancing elixir. I also bought the cold brew version because I obviously I have no problem with coffee. I just like mocha anything. It's a good time. I bought these two tubs from Target because I needed more crates and I have white versions of these crates and I was like, ooh, pink, I like. Um, also, sorry about the mess in our kitchen. We literally just got home. I bought three boxes of earth balance squares because I have a problem and I, miss cheese nibs a lot, so, or cheese, cheese its that's the word. So I bought a bunch of these. One of these, I think I bought two, or just one? I think I just bought one box at VegFest from the vegan grocery store. I was gonna go there as well, but I figured they were there at the booth, and so it was fine. Maybe the next time I go to Buffalo, I'll go to that grocery store. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a, like a, an address to the Buffalo vegan grocery store below. But they sold this at VegFest. Although, Target had them for much cheaper, so I feel like, I may have made a mistake. I think it was like 350 at Target in the vegan section, which blew my mind. Oh my God, what a world we live in. So ever since I've seen these on the social media of my friends from LA, they went to Expo West, which I really wanna go to next year. I think it's totally worth it if I go next year. These Good Catch fish foods, I'm really excited to try. It's fish-free naked tuna in water and I loved tuna growing up. I ate a lot of tuna. That was like my go-to, not my choice specifically, but my mom's go-to choice to pack sandwiches for me. And I grew to really like them and they're very nostalgic for me. So, you know, having a tuna sandwich um, is very, you know, exciting. And Eddie used to eat tuna a lot and they also seem to be pretty high in protein. I don't love that it's in packaging. I think I'd rather have it in a can, but maybe it's like easier to package in a plastic than it is a can. I don't know. It's just garbage which is kind of a bummer. That's like the one thing I don't like about a lot of plant-based foods is because of the way it's packaged, you know what I'm saying? But I did buy this other kind of tuna. This is not from, I mean, you can get this in Buffalo. Loma tuna or tuno in spring water with natural sea salt added. I have it on the side for a taste test. If I just do only taste test, then my channel just becomes a taste test channel. Is that bad? I don't know, whatever. But taste test, tuna taste test coming soon. I also done another tuna taste test uh, of the Sophie's Kitchen one, the tuna. Spoiler, it was not good, but it was a very funny video, so if you wanna watch that, I'll link it over there. The next portion is some clothes. Um, I felt very guilty about buying these clothes, but I've been having a lot of like issues with weight recently. Um, I've gained some weight over the past like couple months. Like I would say like past six months, I've like gained a little bit of weight. So it's been hard to fit into my pants. So I found a pair of pants that like were so comfortable and I bought them. I'll be back to thrifting, but sometimes it's really hard to like fit my body shape for thrifting. So I don't know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I also bought bathing suits because I need bathing suits to fit my new body, I guess. Um, I just like have a lot of issues with swimming and swimming wear 
personally, so. I was really excited to find these like bathing suits that were, or this, this combination of a bathing suit that I feel very good about. A top from Target, high-waisted, also from Target, but like a little, a little, wow, you know, a little, well, so, 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 so. <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm saying, but I like the high-waistedness, and they fit really nicely, so, you know, I might actually swim the next time I go to a pool. And then I also bought this shirt because um, it just fit really nicely, and it covers what I like to be covered, but also shows off what I like to be showed off, and it's, like, very comfortable. I know that's, like, explain that's like a lot to come out of a tank top but it just like covers my armpit area really nicely but like shows off different parts of the things of my body that i, I don't know I have <laughs> weird things about clothes i gotta get this guy taken care of wow it's so t like so chilly in here that's very nice so i bought a lot of yogurt because i loved yogurt like i don't think you understand how much i loved yogurt growing up. That was the only dairy product. Well, and cheese. I've eaten a lot of yogurt in my life and I have yet to find a yogurt that like really, you know, hits the spot for me. I really liked the Koyo yogurt that I had in Europe and the All Pro yogurt in Europe, but we don't have either of those here. I think Koyo is in the States. I think I might have bought Koyo somewhere or I think I saw Koyo, but they didn't, there wasn't like a non-broken container of it, which was kind of a bummer. But right now I use Silk yogurt and it's like the coconut one it is okay that is the best one that i have access to that i'm not allergic to because i'm allergic to nuts and it's just okay so i've been on the hunt to find yogurt that i really like so i have non-dairy chobani since chobani is a dairy company i don't love supporting it but if they're selling plant-based options and if they are selling it it must be good because they're a yogurt company um this is silk oh yeah berry yogurt. I got the mixed berry and strawberry. We have the lava, lava. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. This one says no added sugar though, so I don't know how I feel about this, but it is also another plant-based yogurt. It's made with pili nuts, peely nuts. I don't know if I'm allergic to those nuts, so I will eat with caution. And I have some more oat. This one's from So Delicious. So I have the silk and So Delicious oat based yogurts to try so stay tuned for yogurt video like I said I bought the good rebel things this one is the maca cold brew and this one is the mocha delicious I bought more just egg I really want to make bok uh, and I feel like this is the best way that I will have some sort of egg thing to go with bok uh, if you guys don't know what that is you can google it it's like a Vietnamese dish that's basically made of like rice cake but it is so good and typically you fry it with like onions and soy sauce and eggs um, and like tofu just doesn't really cut it you know what I mean like tofu is good but like it doesn't it doesn't hold together the bok the same way you know what I'm saying so I bought more just eggs a lot of you have expressed your ire about how you feel about the Just Company and how they test on animals. I think I'll do a separate video on that whole thing. This stuff is really cold. Good job, ice pack cooler box thing. Oh my god. I was so intrigued by these. On one hand, I think it sucks that there is a lot of plastic and packaging in this, but I think it's really cool because a lot of people live off of these foods that are non vegan and if they can switch to a vegan version I think that is amazing these are the ready in five minute microwave meals this is the orange beefless bowl and the chicken feeda bowl I am really stoked we don't have a microwave so that kind of makes things difficult but I think we'll just go to one of our friends houses that does have a microwave and we will taste this there it'll be a good time so this company sweet earth has a bunch more of these like microwave oven slash whatever frozen dinners not all of them are vegan a lot of them are though so make sure that you check they'll say vegan on them and double check the ingredients because some of them look like they would be vegan but they not we did not need to put these in the fridge or in this cooler box but i bought nabisco graham crackers because i really want vegan s'mores that don't taste like garbage actual graham crackers that are vegan yeah i was gonna buy more boxes but i didn't see any more i just only saw that one uh we bought some field roast breakfast sausages i've actually tried these before and they're very good um i just wanted more i was very intrigued by this the skillet meals chicken florentino what again Gardein, I love Gardein products. Unfortunately, there's a lot of packaging. I'm trying to eat fewer of them, but sometimes when I start to have limited mobility because of my eczema or I'm just working really long days and I'm really tired or I'm lazy or whatever, what have you, 
sometimes these things are really helpful. So, you know, it's either this or like, I know some people might have that sort of same sort of experience and they might just eat a non-vegan thing instead because it's easier. So I'm glad that these options exist. You know what I'm saying? So this is more of the lava yogurt. This is strawberry flavored. We have the Stony Field Organic Dairy Free Yogurt. Um, I bought this before and I meant to try it, but I waited way too long to try it and all the yogurt that I tried was expired and therefore tasted very bad. So I felt, I felt like it was not fair for the yogurt for me to release my opinions. There's a baby crying outside. My neighbor has two twins, or my neighbor has twins. And this one is the Coconut Collaborative. Uh, this is the same brand as the mango passion fruit one that I showed before, but for some reason I put it in here instead of in the other thing. This is from Whole Foods. I didn't get that much from Whole Foods because I found most things at Target or Wegmans. I found these crunchy snacks at uh, Whole Foods. I was very excited. So these ones are just like, kind of like puffy veggie things, burritos. Um, this was the only one that was vegan. The other one was not vegan, but that was very exciting. And then I saw grain-free paleo puffs. I am very into it. It's also grain-free and also, I assume the kettlebell is supposed to be keto. I'm very excited to try this. I'm also pretty sure that they've messaged me before or another company. There's a lot of companies making these like paleo, cheesy, Dorito, not Dorito, puffy things. Eddie has really missed these. We bought some sour cream and onion rings. They're vegan. I got this from the vegan grocery store in Buffalo that was at VegFest today. So I will, again, leave that down below. Again, the whole list of all the things will be down below. And because I really love mac and cheese, I bought two boxes of this. I've taste tested this before. They were very good. But if you wanna watch that video where we taste test this, I'll leave it in the corner. And then I also bought the vegan mac with shell and creamy pasta. I'm pretty sure this one's pumpkin based. Yeah, it's pumpkin based. Um, but I also heard it's very good. I bought this a while ago, like three or four years ago, and then I waited like two years to eat it. So then it was expired. And then I was like, I don't know if I can taste test that and also be fair because it's expired. Because if it tastes funky, it's probably because it's expired. You know what I'm saying? So I had to buy a new one. We will taste test that. This is from Target. I bought more vegan mac and cheese. <laughs> I have five boxes. I really used to eat KD a lot, so um, this is like an homage to like my former high school self. You guys have seen me buy these before, but anytime I go to the States, I make sure I can buy some Sun Chips, the original kind because they're the only ones that are vegan. Sun Chips, come out with more vegan flavors, y'all. It's a good time. Doritos Belays. Uh, these ones are vegan, which is very exciting. I've tasted them, taste tested this one in a very sleep deprived vlog from when I was in LA. So if you wanna watch that, I'll link it over there if I didn't mention over five videos already. I don't know, it's in one of the LA vlogs. I'll link it somewhere, there or there. The last things we got from Tajé, Oreos. A bunch of you have gotten very angry at me for buying Oreos because they have sugar in them that is refined with bone char. That is true, and I guess technically they are not vegan, but I just wanted cookies, y'all. And I feel like I feel like bone char is like one of those like gray area things where it's like a byproduct of the industry. It's like it's a complicated situation because like you want to reduce the amount of food waste out there. Um, and unfortunately, the government and most of society considers animals food. So when you like eat their flesh, their bones are left behind and they gotta do something with the bones. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a complicated thing. Anyway, I guess I eat the byproduct of bone char. I've done the research and that's just how I feel about it in the end. And I think that's just like my own journey. And like, if you don't agree, you don't agree. That's, that's it. So then just don't eat Oreos, you know, if you don't agree. So here are the chocolate peanut butter pie Oreos. This one I found tastes the most like the Reese's peanut butter cup Oreos that were like a limited edition thing from like four or five years ago. I haven't seen it since. I've only ever seen it in the States. So anytime I have access to these, I buy them because they're delicious. I found latte cream flavored Oreos, which are also vegan, dairy free, very excited. I love coffee flavored chocolate anything. Very excited, plus thins. Yum! Thins are like the ideal way of eating Oreos. Some people vehemently feel that double stuffed is the best Oreo. I prefer thins. I think the ratio of thins is the ideal ratio. And some prefer, you know, the classic. You know what I'm saying? I would love to know down below. If you partake in Oreos, how do you feel about them? You know? Double stuffed, single, original, thins? 
Let me know. And the last one was dark chocolate flavor. Cremes, all of these flavors, I'm into. So that's it for food. I bought this t-shirt from the Compassion Company. They were at VegFest. Well, Andy was at VegFest, but I listened to the Bearded Vegan podcast because I think that they share a lot of really great opinions and they often like disagree, sort of, but like they like agree to disagree, agree to disagree. They just have different opinions. But I think valid, both valid opinions about many things in the vegan world. And I guess I listened to their podcast to like stay in touch with like vegan news. But this shirt says, anything you can eat, you can eat vegan. I just love this company because they're very like body positive and they're very vegan positive and very pragmatic. And I just, just love their vibe. So shout out to Bearded Vegan. The last place that we went to where I bought things was Ulta. Cause your girl likes skincare and makeup sometimes. So I bought this face wash, face, face wash, because every time I find it in Canada, it is either like $13 or $17. And I found them at Target for 10 US dollars, which is about $13 uh, Canadian. But uh, I was running out, so I decided to buy two. They are cruelty-free and vegan, Pacifica. They're awesome. Uh, you should check them out. Also, if you guys are wondering what to buy at Ulta and how to know what is cruelty-free and vegan, I always consult the Logical Harmony website. They have like a whole list. Justin and Tashina are amazing and they run that whole website and it is a lot of work. So, you know, I support them by frequenting that site a lot because it is a very handy um, thing. You can get these here in Canada, but I don't know what, what brought me to buy them while I was there. So I bought the Ultra Repair Lip Therapy from First Aid Beauty and the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration Mango Cream, which I will be keeping in my purse as a hand cream because I found out that I'm allergic to shea butter. So the hand cream that I was using before was actually making it worse, which I was like noticing. I was like putting on hand cream. I was like, this is supposed to feel better, but now it feels itchier. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just having a really bad thing. It turns out it's just the lotion. And I also bought the Ultra Repair Pure Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer because sun protection is important, y'all. I wanted to buy the Duo Lash Glue, but the one that has like a brush instead of like a, like a squeeze bottle. Uh, so, you know, very exciting. I don't often wear falsies, but you know, if I wanna jazz it up and wear some falsies, I need the glue. I'm pretty sure you can buy that here too, but I don't know where to find it. And I also don't usually see this brand specifically. I see Quo, and I don't know if Quo is cruelty-free, but I know Duo is cruelty-free. I bought the Mario, Mario, Mario. What am I even saying? Mario Badescu, 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 Mario. Facial spray. This is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. You know what? I'm gonna... Now my face is gonna be wet, but that's fine. Mmm, that smells really nice. That, that's nice. And I guess the last thing that I bought is the ColourPop Double Entendre Makeup Palette. I like it because it's in like a cardboard thing. It's in a little palette, it's cute. It's good for travel. I'm very excited. ColourPop. A lot of their stuff is vegan. They're not all vegan, but they're all cruelty free, which is exciting. So I'm excited to use these. These are actually, I own a lot of these colors or similar shades of these colors, but this palette is just so nice and I like the whole thing. It was very affordable. So, you know, it's a whole thing. There's a baby crying in my neighbor's backyard, which is literally basically my also my backyard because we live very close together because I live in a condo townhouse. But that is the haul. I hope you enjoyed watching the haul. If you guys like haul videos, I don't do them very often, but if you like them, I have a playlist of more haul videos if you would like to watch what I have bought in the past. If you like this video, give it a like. Let me know down below your thoughts on Oreos, if you've tried any of these things. I'm excited. What are you excited for me most to try? And if you, actually yeah, that'll help me figure out which taste test to do first. So let me know down below what you want me to try. And if you see the same answer from other people, just like, you know, like that comment. I mean, you can do twice, but it'll help me figure out how much in demand a certain thing is by the amount of likes on the comment. So do that. Thank you guys so much for watching this hot mess. Um, I already have a stain. I don't know why I decided that I should wear white to a food festival. That was terrible. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys don't follow me on social media, I'm the vegan everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, but mostly on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, that's a good time. Thanks for watching. Have a delicious day. I put you in the fridge. Get in there. In the States. Uh, I have a lot of friends who vehemently, 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 vehemently.
words are hard. Um, I've only ever read that word. I've never heard it out loud. Wow. How do you say it again? Vehemently? 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 Vehemently. There's no H? Vehemently? It's like, it's not much F's. Vehemently. 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 What am I doing? Hey.